these warriors gather each year. One of the staunchest and most dedicated is Dick Simon. Simon came to Indy Racing in 1970. Dick Simon drove Indy cars for 18 years, race after race, city after city, season after season. In 1982, he founded Dick Simon Racing Incorporated and joined the elite ranks of Indy driver owners. Starting with a budget of $500,000, hard work, sweat, and unbounded optimism, Dick and his wife Diane developed Dick Simon Racing into the top-rated team it is today. And it is a team. A group of dedicated people, competitive on every level, working with one another with pride and spirit to compete and win. All who participate share in the excitement, the exhilaration, the pride of the battle. Preparation is everything. In order to prepare for battle this season, Dick Simon found new quarters. Built from the ground up, Dick's new shop is state of the art. There are special rooms to test shocks, dyno engines, and Magnaflux pieces. The engineering staff design and draft, cut new parts, grind and sand to minute specifications. A team of mechanics assemble cars, gearboxes, set chassis, test engines, paint and detail, then take a test spin on the track surrounding the building. The offices are abuzz with the constant chatter of Dick, Diane and staff planning for the circuit. Strategy meetings, travel arrangements, efficiency is the watchword throughout. This year, Dick's cars will be running the best engines available. They'll be loaded onto three gleaming 18-wheelers, each complete shops in themselves, to set out on the first conquest, the Australian. Dick's phones have been ringing off the wall. The word is out. Some of the best drivers want to join Dick in the fray. It is one thing to watch on TV or to listen to the exciting description on the radio. You might even purchase a ticket for the stands or the infield, but imagine the excitement of being part of a team. In days of old, tournaments were sponsored by and for the benefit of great kings. Today, sponsors are kings, and the beneficiaries of great tournaments. The returns are wide, full, and far-reaching. IndyCar racing gathers throngs. It's the largest, most watched, most attended spectator sport in the world. Starting in March with the Gold Coast Grand Prix in Surfer's Paradise, Queensland, Australia. Then seven races in the USA, including the Valvoline 200 in Phoenix, the Toyota Grand Prix in Long Beach, California, the Indianapolis 500, the most watched sporting event in the world, the Valvoline Detroit Grand Prix in Detroit, the Budweiser G.I. Joe's 200 in Portland, Oregon, the Miller Genuine Draft 200 in Milwaukee, and the New England 200 in London, New Hampshire. Up to Canada for the Molson Indy in Toronto, then back to the USA for the Marlboro 500 in Brooklyn, Michigan, the Cleveland Grand Prix in Cleveland, Ohio, and the Texaco Haviland 200 in Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin. Once more in Canada for the Molson Indy in Vancouver, British Columbia, finishing strong in the USA with the Pioneer Electronics 200 in Lexington, Ohio, the Bosch Spark Plug Grand Prix in Nazareth, Pennsylvania, and the Toyota Monterey Grand Prix in Monterey, California. All who attend these world-class races will be winners, but some will reap the benefits for years to come. Dick Simon sponsors will have a view to rival even the highest king in days of old, where drivers and celebrities alike meet to mix, sign autographs, and take photographs with key customers and clients in his Indy 500 suite. At other races, suites, tents, or hospitality buses are available to entertain 10 to 10,000. Travel, lodging, and refreshments can all be arranged by Dick's crack staff back in Indy. The contests of old were seen by hundreds. Today, the spectacle of Indy car racing is viewed by millions. On site, Hundreds of thousands of fans attend. On television, IndyCar races are shown in 67 countries to over 500 million viewers.
Coats of arms on heavy shields have been replaced by corporate logos and colors, speeding around the track again and again on sleek, shiny Indy cars. In the U.S. alone, Dick Simon's cars have generated over $9 million worth of TV exposure per season. On ESPN, ABC, and hundreds of local broadcasts, his sponsors' logos and colors are always present. And there are trade shows, conventions, and point-of-purchase locations where drivers meet customers, sign autographs, and answer questions. No Knight of Armor could compete with the high-tech helmets and suits of today's warriors. Or the crew chief and crew, traveling the country in semi-trailers replete with company logos and colors, on their way to your event or the next big race. If you listen closely, you can hear it. Beneath your feet, you can feel it. The gods of spring are awakening. The warriors and their cadres are preparing. The throngs of observers are gathering, ready to cast their eyes on the great events to take place this racing season. And you can be right there in their full sight. The pace is heroic, but the rewards are monumental. Be part of it. Join the Dick Simon Racing Team.